Hey girl, thank you guys so much for checking out my channel. My name is Simply Velka and in this video I'm going to be doing a pick a card for the month of August, what we can expect for the month, what messages our spirit guides or archangels, just just overall guidance for the month of August and just have us be more prepared for the month to come, right? This year has just been so hectic, so it's like, why not get some extra help from Tarot? So if that interests you, then keep on watching. All right, you guys, so if you're not familiar with picker cards already, what I want you to do is to close your eyes and to take three deep breaths in and three deep breaths out. And then when you open your eyes again and you look at the piles, whichever one is calling to you the most, whichever one you looked at the first after you opened your eyes, that is the pile that is meant for you. Some of you may feel called to more than one pile that is completely okay. At that point, then I would just suggest your intuition to figure out which cards are meant for you in each of the piles. But once you pick your pile, I'm going to leave the timestamps down below in the description box and in the comments so you can click your timestamp and we can get right to your reading. All right, people who chose pile number one, I'm going to go ahead and get into your cards right now. I'm going to have them all spread out first and foremost so I can take it all in. And yeah, when with you guys in pile number one, you guys are going to be heavily having to, like you guys are going to be the ones that are going to have to really go on the journey of the self for the month of August. Either you're, that's either like a suggestion spirit is having with you or those are going to be the kind of events that you can expect in the month of August. Things that are going to be challenging your self-worth <laughs> and the perspective that you have. And also um, talking heavily on intuition. This is really going to be like, like you guys in pile number one, you guys for the month of August are really going to be put through challenges that are going to force you to have to acknowledge your greatness in essence. You guys are going to have to really learn to rely on yourself and to really keep yourself in check, your emotional, your mental in check. And just really just have constantly having that open dialogue with your ego. The, the ego for you guys is going to be what's going to really limit you. Um, so I'm going to just get, get into the cards now for you guys. So the Temperance card, the Temperance card is just quite literally again speaking on into the speaking of intuition, and so um, this is going to be just advice, paying attention to your intuition, but also um, this is how your guides and archangels, your ancestors, all will speak to you as well. Some people believe that um, your intuition is messages from your spirit guides, and so when you have two different cards, because the Moon card also represents. Uh, your intuition as well. So heavy, heavy intuition for you guys and something to really, I would suggest, pay attention to if you're feeling like lost or not know, not knowing like where to next go in your time. Just really, I would suggest to sit in some time of meditation and to really put things in perspective for you guys. This is going to be, like I said this already, but August is really, for you guys, going to be the month of where you, it's just going to be the journey of the self. And so something else I wanted to mention as well, though, is that with the Ace of Coins, this is still going to be an exciting time for you because while, yeah, I talk about how this is going to be the journey of the self, these events that make you have to look inward are going to be exciting events when it comes to like your love life, when it comes to your career, it's like your relationships and as a whole, and just like every aspect of your life is going to start benefiting and thriving off of this self-work that you do. And some of you, I feel like already kind of know what it, like you knew this ahead of time, you knew like this was going to be coming. And so this reading is going to just serve as like an affirmation for you guys, um, because that's why we have like, that's why I suspect like the seven of wands comes forward as well as that. Like you guys kind of know this, you know where you guys are kind of lacking in you guys have kind of just gotten by by just acknowledging it, but not really doing the work. And so August is really going to be the time for you guys to really start doing the work on this. It's going to be really important for you guys. I feel for a lot of you guys in pile number one, if you feel like you have been in a rut recently and you just like, you don't know what it is that is stopping you at this point, you feel like you're putting in all the energy that you have with yourself and like things are just not working out for you. Um, Something I really kind of want to point out for you guys in pile number one, while 2020 has just been an awful year for many of us, or I don't want to say awful, that's so negative, a very challenging year for many of us, um, 2020 has also become the scapegoat and the excuse for people as well. Um, I say this in that eh, 
being able to fall back on being like, oh, well, 2020 is just being wreaking havoc. And so like the 2020 ends up taking fault where you don't have to look at yourself and see where it is that you could be improving. Um, that's just something to note because we do have the ego card with Archangel Jophiel and talking about a false sense of entrapment. So this is kind of like you convincing yourself of narratives that you that might not even be the actual narrative or what the actual case is you know when the ego card comes up this is really telling me that there's like a little bit of self-sabotaging going on whether that self-sabotaging is just you simply not wanting to invest energy into yourself i don't like that's really up to the individual right and like having those honest conversations for yourself so if you find during the month of august i feel like a lot of you guys are going to really like it's through this journey like i know i said this but it's through your journey of your relationship with yourself and that's going to be how um not only your career uh but your love life is and just like the relationships in your life are going to benefit i said this because like going back to the ace of coins the ace of coins is in essence like the universe handing you your spirit guides handing you a blank check and you're the one that gets to decide how bountiful uh that blank check is going to be essentially right and so it is through like the relationship that you have with yourself and keeping yourself accountable, keeping your ego in check, that this blank check, you can write it something, you can write down a bigger number, right? And so going into the relationship side of things for you guys and for the month of August, um, there's a, we have the new moon in Libra talking about a new romantic cycle. Maybe there's going to be a, someone coming into your life, or maybe this is talking about a Libra in your life, um, or it's a Libra coming into your life for the month of August. And when it says a new romantic cycle begins for those who are already in a relationship I don't want this for people to just like this card really more so just represents like a deep connection um, that you can have with someone so whether this is like a new person coming into your life for the month of August or it's just speaking of that's like where you're deepening the relationships in your life through like the self-work that you do like this is you know that's where the two of water comes in talking about just like the deepening of your relationships so romantic or platonic it doesn't really matter um for these two cards to be coming in together like a pair like this this to me tells me that um paired with the ego card that you guys kind of need to like it's how do i want to put this i i feel like some of your energy is being a little bit misguided and it's because of like your own insecurities perhaps i don't like <laughs> i'm gonna just be honest here maybe this is not going to resonate for some people so um if it doesn't make sense for you then just take it as you take it with a grain of salt but what i'm getting here is that there's like this push for you to acknowledge that this is like a time for you to work on yourself because your mental's kind of sabotaging like so much good going on in your life and it can be understandable when you're dealing with just such constant hectic energy and you feel like you're just in this final rut like you can almost you can just see the treasures like that's like right out of your reach you can like just almost taste it basically and you just are trying to figure out what it is that you need to just release what it is that you need to let go of and all that right what it is that you need to do so you can just get to that next step and what i'm really getting from this is that this it's really just like the journey of the self I'm, I'm i keep on repeating myself because that's just such the emphasis in that like the relationships in your life right now allow the relationships for the month of august platonic and otherwise allow them to be tools that make you have to look at reflections of yourself you know that you know the saying where it's like if you don't like something in somebody else or you have something negative to say about somebody else that's a reflection of you well i don't really believe it um i don't really resonate with that kind of message for all things but it's kind of in that essence of where i feel like the month of august your guides the universe is going to really ut utilize the relationships in your the relationships in your life to really help elevate you so don't take things personally don't internalize things don't take this as a sign to cut people off take this take this as a time to really work with them a little bit more and to really just be appreciative of the experiences and just keep an open communication overall during this time um i want to bring up the camel card as well the camel called the camel card talks about just having trust in the resources to get you through the challenges before you and so how i really want to talk about this and also like this goes with like the career part of your blank check um the new moon in taurus um for po prosperity lying ahead this is these two cards are symbolic in terms of career and that 
I feel like you guys are not pushing yourselves enough. So, you know, when you think of a camel and they have the hump on, the ba on their back and that's where they store their water and that's where why they can go take long journeys throughout the desert without there being any water because they trust in their body, they trust in the resources that they gathered and to take them across. You guys right now, I'm getting very much so the energy in people pile number one that you guys are like a camel and like this last stretch that you need to do in terms of your career to finally get you to the reward, you're kind of doubting yourself as a camel. You know, you have to go through this last stretch of the desert and you guys aren't giving yourself enough credit. You're not willing to bet on yourself and gamble on yourself. You know, you, even though you there's like a level where you acknowledge that like, yeah, you like hypothetically, you can make it across the desert. Um, there's still just like that level of doubt. That's where your ego starts speaking and starts sabotaging you from really pushing yourself to end up going across the desert to have like your prosperous reach, right? So no matter if it's with your career or no matter if it's with your personal life, it's really, this month is really just going to be the month that really everything benefits once you start working on the self. And that's why there's such a push for you that to not really take the time, take these signs through your relationships that you have in your life and dumping them off. A lot of these relationships right now um, that potentially may bring obstacles or like triggers to you, allow it to be a teaching moment and just be appreciative of it and not take it as a sign that you need to let them go because I really don't get like a negative energy for that. And so the mantra card for us, for you guys' reading, to close off your guys' reading, it's such a perfect card for you guys. And the card says, there's nothing sexier than my authentic truth, which I feel like is so fitting for you guys because the more you deep dive with yourself and just do the, your shadow work in essence, right? And to just get to know yourself better, you are able to exude a more authentic energy because you're more at peace with yourself. So once you're able to acknowledge yourselves for the camel that you are to get across your journey, that's the moment like you're going to be just, no, that's just gonna be when you're gonna be thriving, I guess. So yeah, that's the reading that I have for you guys. I hope these cards resonated with you and just give you a sense of guidance of what to what is to come. If this reading did resonate with you, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear about how the cards resonated with you in your life and how the dynamic of all the cards just played out for you. Um, and also, if this did, reading did resonate with you, I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it really does help me out so much. But until next time, guys. Bye. All right, people in pile number two, I'm going to lay out our cards right now so we can receive the messages that Tarot has for us for the month of August. And for you guys in pile number two, this is really going to be a heavy month of shadow work for you guys, but I don't want you to dread hearing the word shadow work. I know if you've been a watcher of my videos for a while now, I am such a huge fan of shadow work, but and my readings always seemingly end up having to push some people to doing shadow work, but for you guys, I'm definitely getting like, it's, <clears throat> it's for you guys, I think for the month of August is really going to be about <sighs> having to kind of like look at the reflection in the mirror, I guess, and having honest conversations with yourself because we have the strength card and the strength card quite literally represents just shadow work and, that, and, and, it's, and it's like if shadow work were to be a card, it would be the strength card and it's going to be this is going to be the epicenter of the reading for you guys this is like the, the nucleus of it all and all the other cards are kind of spreading out from this and so um going into this a little bit deeper um i have we have the hermit card that is inverted and this is a sign of like insecurity to me whenever this card pops up for somebody when i'm doing a reading for them this is like the dead giveaway to me that there's like some insecurity in terms of outside perspective of the public perspective of yourself maybe there's you limit yourself and you don't put yourself out there as much as you potentially could be putting yourself out there because you care too much about the opinion of other people and so that's the reason why you end up becoming a hermit hermit maybe you're maybe you are an introvert and you use that as the fallback excuse but you're at such a severe introvert because of your insecurity or just the fear of the perspective of other people and how they would receive you if you were to be your authentic self if you were to be open if you were to just be taking that chance and that creative outlet that you have and making it your career 
Um, we also have the Four of Swords as well, which is talking, which is kind of asking you to, instead of constantly pushing against a brick wall, um, what I'm getting for you guys is to really just take a moment and to really have just like this time to just take a moment and just have a conversation with yourself of recognizing your values, right? That's what the Empress card represents, is that like, your, your guides are essentially saying for the month of August that like, it serves you no purpose to push against this brick wall doing, making no grounds if you are not willing to take a moment in doing your shadow work. So how these four cards are really panning out for me right now, for you guys right now in pile number two is just like, shadow work is the epicenter of like what it is that you need to do. So you need to acknowledge this take a moment of rest and through this moment of rest you need to also just kind of surrender to the divine right we have like whenever the surrender to the divine comes in this is kind of like acknowledging um that things are just going to happen however they need to happen in your life right now and just seeing it as the lesson that it is but you know taking this moment of rest to really look at where your insecurities are and where you're limiting yourself and where you're stopping yourself from really attaining your success you know i don't want people i don't want you this month to blame it on 2020. that's my that's my um thing for you guys for the month of august i don't want you guys in pile number two to blame anything on 2020. i want you guys to take the situations that happened to you for the month of august and to take them at face value and be like okay what is this here to teach me that is the question that i want you guys to always ask yourself during the month of august is asking yourself what is this here to teach me what is this why am like you know asking the questions of yourself is just being like if something's triggering you be like okay why is this triggering me what is it that i need to do that i need to work on with myself so i don't react this way anymore if you don't like that reaction you know just having the, that deep dive with yourself and taking emotions out of it you know when you're trying to attain success when you're trying to just continue like you there's the time and place for feelings and when it comes to self-growth you kind of have to hurt your own feelings a little bit right and for some people as well, I feel like like keeping in mind, like I feel like the shadow work is going to be connected directly with just practicing like pre compassion and forgiveness. Like that's why we have the honeybee card, right? Um, and telling you just like while you're taking this rest with the four swords, this is like the why like again like kind of just emphasizing why it is you need to be taking a month of rest for the month of August and to really. Um, Figure yourself out. This is similar to pile number one in some ways. I'm willing to bet like some people that are receiving this reading were called to both piles a little bit um, just because of how similar the reading is in some ways. Um, but what's different for pe people in pile number two than pile number one is that um, pile number one was talking about more so self-worth. You guys in pile number two, you guys kind of already know your value. I feel like a lot of you guys in pile number two, you already have your hustle going and you're trying to get your hustle to that next level, I feel, and you just don't know where it is that you need to improve on next. And so with the honeybee card, this is kind of like, hmm, I'm gonna hurt your feelings a little bit here, step on some toes, I guess, and say that we can sometimes get so caught up in trauma responses that we have in life or PTSD responses that we have in life because we tell ourselves of certain behaviors just like, oh, well, I was raised with that type of behavior, so I'm going to naturally exude that. I, you know, I dealt with these kinds of people as a, like when I was younger, or I had this bad experience when I was younger, and so that's why I choose not to uh, put myself out there now, you know? And that becomes like a fallback excuse, and what you're in that essence saying is that this excuse is more important to you than attaining that next level of success. And I'm being as bold as I am in saying this because, like, again, like, I feel like, feel like you guys in pile number two are, like, hustle, hustlers already. And, like, you guys are willing to just put your feelings aside and just, to just do it, right? Because we have the chariot card, which is just, like, going straight forward with it and just really taking action. I feel like you got a lot of you guys in pile number two. I feel like a sense of urgency for some of you, where it's just like you just want to know, like, tell, like, it's kind of like if you were to talk to the universe right now, it's just like, okay, tell me what it is that I need to improve on so I can fix it and just keep it going. I like, feel like that's very much so you guys' energy in pile number two. And the new moon comes forward, and it's kind of funny too, because we have both the full moon and the new moon. Um, for you guys and that's actually pretty that's actually really powerful so like you have a lot of strong energy 
coming in. But yeah, going back to what I was saying with the new moon, um, this is like the universe promising you that it's just like, hey, things are going, like things are going to happen for you. There's a lot of big things happening, right? But you need to stop procrastinating. The seven of water, that's like another card where it's just kind of chastising you to stop procrasti procrastinating. Um, you know, you feel like that you stop looking at what you can physically do to improve or stop trying to find like other outlets and be willing to point the finger at yourself, I guess, and be willing to deep dive with yourself mentally and to just call yourself out. It's time to hurt your feelings a little bit. You know, I know I said I was going to hurt your feelings, but I feel like this is going to be something in order for you to really go to your, your to that next step. You guys are going to really have to hurt your feelings a little bit and to really have a really honest conversation with yourself on why it is that you're in the situation that you did, that you're in the situation that you are in now. And it's through this deep conversation with yourself, you're able to acknowledge just being like, just coming to terms with these things, like coming to terms with your past and forgiving and coming from a place of compassion, forgiveness with people in your life that potentially caused you to have like this trauma response now that's making you be so scared of being perceived by people in your most authentic self. You know, this is really like an asking for you to change your vibration, to really shift your mindset. And at this point, you guys are really, like, you guys are really, like I'm proud of you guys in pound number two, but now it's now at a point now you like hmm, it's now at a point for you guys to get to like to get to that next step. Like you guys have done a lot and it's really impressive what you guys have already accomplished. But in order to really take off, you guys have to just fix your mindset a little bit. With the seven of air, um, it's asking, you know, with that's talking about like needing to revise things, you know, like what served you a year ago is not going to serve you in your now. When you're high functioning people, right? You're constantly evolving. So by with constant evolving, there's going to be constant um, re-evaluation that needs to happen in your life with all with all facets of your life. And saying that there's more that's going on than, than what meets the eye, I feel like, yeah, you guys are not really, willing to look at yourself and that when it's yourself that really it just is the only thing that needs to be improved on and again i don't want it to seem like i'm blaming you guys or anything like that you guys are beautiful people it's just like at this point if you're trying to like for the month of august this is going to be really a time if you're really wanting to have your new start to happen you need to really just trust in the divine and this time and to really just deep dive with yourself right now really look at the self-saboteur that you have and so the final card for you guys is the quote card and this card says i recognize that i have chosen fear and i choose again i choose love and so this is in essence saying it's just like you know what what was my story for however many years before that made me have that trauma response to so i don't want to like put myself out there in that way anymore i acknowledge that i used to always choose this the easy way out i used to choose the excuses but now you're changing your mind you're going to be doing the shadow work you're going to be resting and you're really going to be shifting your mindset and you're going to really just see the value in yourself you're going to choose love instead and really choosing those high vibrational energies right and so yeah you guys absolutely have this but if this reading did resonate with you guys please let me know in the comments below i would love to hear about how the cards played out in your life and just how um this gives you direction in your life right and if this reading did resonate with you i would love for you to subscribe and give me a like because it does help me out so much but i really do hope this reading gives you guys a sense of direction and yeah i love you guys so much all right, people, in pile number three, I'm going to just lay out our cards now so we can see what messages Tarot has for us. So for you guys in group number three, this is really going to be a push for you guys to start planning for long term. And I know some of you guys may feel like and will have already said to me, even while I'm saying this, thinking that you already have been thinking about long term. And the spirit is kind of here to call you out and to have you really look at where you're directing your energy is that's really that's overall what is trying what your reading is trying your spread is trying to say for the pile number three is like just looking at where your trick <clears throat> i'm sorry whenever i do these kind of readings it's just it takes a lot out of me and whenever i'm speaking a lot like i always just have <clears throat> <clears throat> okay anyways um so yeah for this kind of spread this is really showing to me that you're there's energy that you guys are not like 
you're feeding too much energy into something that's not serving you any good anymore that's not valid like doing anything of value because we have the queen of swords inverted and that just is like this is just straight up bitterness um, whenever you guys see this card inverted this is like i want you guys to just think of something that's just bitter so if this is not you in the month of august where you just have some like and honestly hmm yeah, no, I'm not going to say this like for everybody for the month of August, but definitely either someone in your life. Oh, yeah, I know how this is going to pan out. Yeah, okay. I know the story of how it's playing out for you guys. So for the Queen of Swords, this is like the nucleus for you guys. This is where the fine detail, like this epicenter of like what the overall reading for you guys is for the month of August. And so it's going to be bitterness. So whether this is you and I'm going to just talk about in both sides. And so if you're experiencing bitterness, I feel like it's more so towards like a relationship of some sort, like a friendship. Um, but there's just like you're there's a lot of like misguided energy being like directed and not a valuable way and so maybe you're like holding a grudge like this is like heavy grud grudge energy resentful energy and so if it's not about you then there's someone in your life in your circle right now that's not there is like there's like a little bit of bitterness resentment towards you and i don't want you guys to hear this and take it as like a bad thing or well, as something that's like really negative like where you feel like you need to chop this person out who I was feeling bitter rather towards you because I don't feel like it's malevolent because we have the five of water and this is like more so just talking about like things are not turning out how you'd hope not seeing the positive in the situation and crying over spilled milk and so the dynamic for this is like maybe like a friendship disappointed you and they're not in the acting in the way that they that you would expect them to act or whatever the case may be or if it's with somebody else maybe they just they're just feeling neglected because you just have spent so much time on doing like your own thing that you kind of have neglected them you haven't spent time with them and you know this is like overall like you need to like the general message for you guys is just really addressing like the bitterness and you guys and just to removing this inverted queen of swords energy as quickly as possible in whatever dynamic that it is for you um, because the queen of earth talks about making time for those around you in a sensible approach and just an overall like asking you to approach the situations in a kind and understanding matter manner and for this to happen this is really like in a well for when it says this this is asking spirit suggesting to you to really shift in your shifting your mindset into a less cut through energy i guess <laughs> is what i'm trying to say so you know i was as i was saying with the queen of uh swords card and if someone was feeling bitter towards you you know your or someone's reaction might be just being like oh well looking at blaming them and just being on the defensive or offensive and like maybe just cutting them out of your life and you know i feel like you guys have been like are so used to like around a lot being around like a lot of sharks this is where you're um mindset is and because of this because you're just so used to being around crappy people um that's just like your instinct that's where you'll just naturally just react to and so if someone is feeling like a little bit neglected in your life maybe like i feel like you're very blunt people in pile number three and so <laughs> I feel like even if you're not even trying to come from a place of being condescending, I feel like you can come off as condescending when you're not trying to be. And it's just because of like how you adapted in your life because of the sharks in your life. Um, or maybe like if someone disappointed you in your life and like you're just putting so much energy and like you're just really just overall like you're just disappointed. Yeah, like very disappointed in them and just wondering if it's worth even continuing like the relationship, whether it's, this is like an actual relationship or platonic, like there's just like heavy disappointment energy and this is just not giving you any value i feel like this is like this the universe is really trying to tell you guys for the month of august that really you guys are you have good people in your life right now i don't really feel like such a negative vibe you guys have to like be willing to trust in your and well no i'm gonna keep the moon card here for a moment because i don't feel like it has to relate to that but because with the page of air card this is talking about challenging information and so this is really like huh, how, what am i trying to say here i feel like the problems that are arising in your life or could be arising in your life uh for the month of august is coming from like your mindset and just not having a more 
understanding matter manner to you and so if someone like if someone in your life is just not feeling like is feeling like neglected or resentful in some kind of way see if you can just like spend some extra time with them and just try to connect with them and just be honest with them as well right because if you just try to connect with them and pretend like you're not you don't know that there's a problem like they're going to sense it i feel and so like you have to just be blunt and be like hey is there a problem here? Like, you want to just come to a conclusion, right? Full, with the full moon eclipse, like, and conclusions are within reach, it's okay to have these uncomfortable conversations and just trying to be like, hey, like, can we just talk about the elephant in the room instead of just pretending like no one notices it? You know, because if you come at it, like, you want to just be authentic and really come at it from a place of just wanting to bring this to an end and just come to a completion with this so like you're no longer feeding energy into this like there's like this push from you guys to really connect with your guides and really because like yeah there's just such a misdirection of energy right now and i like i feel like everything i believe that everything is energy and i feel like energy is like it's like a monetary value thing right you pay for someone's time you pay for someone's energy and so your guides are seeing where you're directing your energy right now and they're just really suggesting to you just like hey there's too much energy that's being wasted essentially and so really start you know with the moon card and the new moon in pisces talking about meditate and contemplate this is really a time for you to start connecting to your guides and to really put some perspective and to really work with them a little bit and to really have figure out where it is that you can learn from them to have a kinder approach to things because you have you guys have so much greatness and plus I, I didn't do this for the other piles but with the turquoise card for pile number three that's where you guys chose turquoise really represents like victimhood and so if you're feeling bitter and you are feeling like the victim in your life this is really like a time for you to just like put things in perspective stop crying over spilled milk like you have so much good coming to you like <laughs> get over yourself essentially get over yourself reallocate your energy into more beneficial things and like you'll be so much happier with how the month of august pans out for you guys because with the three of um wands like this is just telling suggesting to you more and more to just Put your put your energy put your focus into the proper things and so yeah um the last card that i have for you guys which is your quote card which is just so fitting for you guys says energy flows where my intention goes and so you want to just really fix like if you're feeling like people in pound number three if you're feeling like you're in a rut the suggestion that i have for you guys for the month of august is to really look at like write down everything out of where you're putting your energy where you're constantly feeding your thoughts you know just pay attention to your thoughts for the day and see and like really account for how much time you're spending on thinking about certain relationships and like or like certain people you know you know how on your phone for some people it'll tell you the screen time and how much time we spent on certain apps it's kind of, I want you to kind of do that for like a week and really realize how much energy you're just wasting when you could just like talk about the issue talk about the elephant in the room with these people have an honest conversation so you can remove this queen of swords energy whether it's you or someone else in your life and to really just come out of peace with it and just come to a conclusion you guys can just be back to thriving and just back to really creating and having just abundance coming your way so yeah that's the reading that i have for you guys i really hope this gives you guys a sense of direction for the month of august and helps you feel a little bit more prepared if this reading did resonate with you let me know how it resonated with you let me know which cards called out to you the most and how it played out plays out in your life i would love to hear about it and if this reading did resonate with you i would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it really does help me out so much but until next time guys Bye. All right, people who chose pile number four, I'm going to get the cards all spread out for us so we can see what messages we have for you guys in pile number four. You guys definitely is, I'm getting a lot of emotion for you guys. The August, month of August is going to be a high emotion month for you guys, I definitely feel. But when I say high emotion, I don't want you to think it's all bad either. It's going to be very high, a lot of highs, more so highs than lows. There's definitely going to be like some challenging moments, I'm going to say, for you guys. But it's overall, it's just very high vibrational energy. But um there's going to be some honest conversations that you need to have with yourself and i kind of mm, <laughs> let's just get into y'all's y'all reading uh, it's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable i feel i might i feel like i'm gonna be stepping on some toes here um so i really want to jump into hmm, the queen of cups the queen of cups every reading each every reading always has like a nucleus card a card that really 
summarizes and like is the main theme for the reading and this is queen of cups for like the card for you guys the nucleus for you guys is the queen of cups and the queen of cups is just like a suggestion of paying attention to your emotions and so getting into this a little bit more we have the kings of wands inverted which is talking about a lack of like your a lack of paying attention to your emotions or accountability to your emotions and so this is something to definitely be like this is an interesting duo. It's kind of like a... It's definitely telling to me that, like, hmm. Like, there's definitely, like, ego coming into play. Like, I feel like you guys, like, in pile number four, you guys may be very emotional people. And I don't want to say emotions are bad at all. Like, I'm feeling your emotions are extremely wonderful. But for you guys, I feel like, and I say, I bring up the ego because it's like, um, we have the fool in reverse and this is, like, quite literally say, like a card that like asks you the universe is challenging you and just like hey are you reacting from a place of genuine emotion or are you reacting from a place of just logic and justice or are you reacting from a place of ego and, and you're just doing this to feel justified when you're not actually justified um and i don't want you guys to feel attacked necessarily well yeah i don't want you guys to feel attacked at all but like because like i feel like you guys are usually pretty good at keeping your ego in check and not having it influence your emotions. But when you have the two of coins, this is kind of explaining why you guys might be having your ego come into play more. And I feel like um, you guys don't really respond to stress well in pile number four. Or maybe like the more stress you're under, the more or more pressure that you're under, the more, I don't want to say explosive you are, but you're more... Mm, just more intense you'll get i guess and so the more as the more stressed that you are or like just the more defeated that you feel like just beaten down i guess the more like you'll your ego starts coming into like it sneaks in like that and so when something like happens like you know it's a friend like does something that normally wouldn't like piss you off but now it's like they, they just did it this one time and you just have gone off on them or like in your head you're just like really like going off about it and it's just like ruining your day and that's just not normal for you i feel like you guys in pile number four like you guys are even eight like fat have had moments or will have moments during the month of august where you're just like wait, wait a minute here this is not myself i'm not acting like myself and i feel like um yeah like you guys are very honest people like i don't when <laughs> i I want you guys to know, like, as I continue with this reading, I'm not coming from a place of judgment at all. Like, I'm the last person to be judging anybody, like, ever, at all. But, you know, this is really, like, the universe. This is, like, a treat of a reading to have because it's, like, the universe is really letting you guys know of, like, something that, like, a lot of people wouldn't be able to notice for a long time without it being... They wouldn't notice this kind of behavior or this issue being an issue until it's already too destructive in their life and right now i feel like the ego hasn't been too destructive in your life but and so yeah like this reading is kind of like the key and just being like giving you that heads up for the month of august that's just being like hey like just keep you keep put things in perspective keep things don't internalize things don't you know always ask yourself what is it that you hope to gain from this conversation what is it that you want to gain from this right always put like remind yourself what like before you do things before you have a conversation be like hey what am i hoping to accomplish here are you hoping to hurt somebody you know if you end up getting in an argument with, with a friend are you like you know like why so it's, it seems so simple but it's like if you remind yourself of like why it is you're having a conversation it makes you realize how pointless doing like certain jabs might be so it's like if like it's you, I like struggle with trying to explain this, but it's like, you're just putting things, being willing to laugh things off, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. You know, we have the new moon in Aquarius talking about bringing love into a situation. And like, yeah, this is the, for the eight of fire to come in, I feel like for you guys, like, yeah, definitely during the month of August, you guys are really going to have to, like, you're going to be having a lot thrown at you. And... <laughs> And I know this is not like the kind of thing you like a lot of people want to hear when it comes to their reading But you, like now this is like the benefit right like this is the benefit and being able to know it ahead of time But like there's gonna be a lot thrown at you and so when you're dealing with like these this chaotic energy for the month of August like it can get a little bit too much for you guys and so there's always I'm 
you're, get, you're getting like the suggestion from spirit to always just keep in check of your mental and just always come from a place of love in the terms of the connections that you have. I feel like with you guys, you know, with the ace of water, and this is talking about falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, like, I feel like you guys, like, you guys could really utilize the situation. Like, the month of August to you is going to be, like, situations that happen in your life that could really bring you closer together with people or really split you apart if you don't keep your ego in check. Does that make sense? And so I speak better in analogies. And so let's say, um, you know, you go on a camping trip with all your friends and, like, that camping trip, like, something bad happens. Like, a tire pops out and, like, your friend, like, you deal with, like, a high-stress situation like that or something like that. And it's through those kind of moments where it's, like, if you react properly and you don't just go off on your friend for really just irking you for, like, whatever, you know, trying to put on, like, a new wheel. Like, whatever your situation is, like, and you just choose to, like, work out your differences and work together to overcome like this obstacle that could be really scary like that could really bring you closer together but if you have your ego come into play if you are just don't handle the situation this high stress situation carefully and you just react like reacting while you may feel justified in the moment you're going to regret it later and you're going like that's where it's going to be like oh like it's going to be one of those things just like yeah i'm sorry it's just like the heat of the moment like it's going to be like for the month of August, you have to really pay attention to your mental for the heat of the moment. Um, but some good cards to have for you guys, like to end this off on like a really good end, like because um, we have the Walrus card, which talks about just remaining vigilant and to pay attention to the signs um, because like you have because <laughs> I'm sorry, the end of the reading, y'all, and I'm just. <laughs> Um, but like, you know, the walrus card is like the universe telling you just being like, hey, remain vigilant right now, like, because like, your hard work is going to pay off the new moon in Capricorn, like there's a lot of good coming to you. You just have to make it through this last month. I feel like like, this is like the last stretch for you guys this is the month of August It's like the last stretch of like difficult obstacles that your guys are going to be going through before you get to really reap the rewards and really be able to just receive some blessings in your life and so like yeah just remain vigilant you guys just keep on keeping on just make it through this last final month of just trying times and be able to just be motivated knowing that like by september i feel like a lot of you guys are by the end of this month i feel like a lot of you guys are going to really start having a lot of positive things build up for you guys like to have like these two cards like this is like the universe just being like hey like don't don't like be too depressed <laughs> you know don't beat yourself up too much from this reading like um, like a lot of good is happening to you. This is just like a heads up and just being like, hey, keep your emotions in check, keep your ego in check, have that conversation with your ego. Like always have, do a daily check in with your ego, you know, and things are gonna just pan out beautifully for you guys. You know, allow this month, the month of August to really deepen your relationships with people rather than splitting you apart and yeah. And so the last card for you guys, which is just such a fitting card is the quote card. And this quote card says, when I lean towards love, I am led and so yeah like this is just a card asking you to just really for the month of august to lead with love speak from a place of love and just always ask you remind yourself of why it is you're having certain interactions in the first place before you react you don't want to react in the heat of the moment for you guys so yeah that's all that, that i have for you guys i hope this reading did resonate with you guys if it did resonate for you guys let me know in the comments below and like how which each which card called out to you the most i would love to hear about it if it did resonate with you i'd love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much um but yeah you guys have this absolutely like you have a, you have good coming into your life you just have to make it through this last month i genuinely hope that this reading gives you a sense of direction on where what's to expect and where to go and how to maneuver through the month of august i love you guys so much